Andrew McGahan for TheMacLife.com here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the state-of-the-art UFC Performance Institute, standing alongside UFC President Dana White. And Dana, it seems like Tuesday night's not only the contender series, but sparring sessions as well. It seems to be your favorite night in Vegas. You no, know, it's true. It is. I, I, I love watching sparring and, uh, you know, being around this whole thing when he's training and everything else. It's exciting. It's fun. You, you, when, in, when, uh, in the middle of the afternoon and at night, people are lined up along the street here over here and out here just waiting to see him pull in or, or uh, you know, catch a glimpse of him. So it's, uh, everybody's excited. How important do you feel that it's been for yourself? Do you know, because making this, you would have had reservations at the start. I know you always said Connor is going to do it. He's possessed. He's obsessed with all of this. But then seeing the actual sparring sessions, what unfolded at them, and then, I suppose, the viral clips that you released. Were you expecting that when you walked in for the first time to see him spar? Uh, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I stopped out in this kid a long time ago, so I didn't know what to expect. And then when I saw, you know, the way he handled, you know, the former WBC and IBF world champion, I was like, holy shit, this is going to be fun. It seemed like there was a little bit of back and forth. It seemed like it was put to bed, but he always seems to come back maybe with the last word. It seems like undoubtedly from the footage that you've posted and the stuff that is hopefully going to get shown at a later date that people will see sooner rather than later what actually happened at these sessions. I was here for 12 rounds and saw 12 rounds of it and I watched Conor McGregor win all 12 rounds although the, the ref did take two points away from Conor so it, it, was, it was 10 to 2. When we're talking about this fight, August 26th, it seems like you're all in on this, that this is going to be the biggest thing in history. You've always been a big man for trends and predictions and looking at the numbers and through your social media team. Do you think this is going to trend bigger than any pay-per-view in American history? It already is. We, we've already broke records in a, in a lot of different areas with this fight globally. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the biggest combat sport ever ever and uh you know it's it in the next two weeks it's going to continue to grow bigger and bigger and uh by the time you know the 26 comes people are going to be busting at the seams to see this fight and do you feel that this can only be good for connor that the the this fight's going to be huge but the next one surely is going to be the one that everybody is going to have eyes on because surely after the momentum of this it's going to be no holds barred when he does return i mean when he when he when he up makes this upset, and, and, and it'll be the biggest upset in the history of sports, I mean, he's going to be the biggest athlete on the planet, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's, it's fun. This, this Conor McGregor ride is a fun ride to be on. Two quick things. Uh, tomorrow morning, the Nevada State Athletic Commission are meeting about an eight-ounce glove. Anything that we're going to be expecting? Have you heard anything in the pipeline? This is, this is amazing that they're even considering this. Floyd Mayweather wants the eight ounce gloves. Conor McGregor wants the eight ounce gloves. Everybody's behind it. There's no reason why this shouldn't happen. Uh, we're going we're to go to this hearing and anything is possible when you're dealing with the Athletic Commission, but hopefully they grant it. And if they grant the eight ounce gloves, ho, 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 it's going to, it just, it, now it's even more fun. And then finally, then I suppose to finish off, is this fight going to prove the catalyst for Conor McGregor in terms of breaking the barrier between boxing and mixed martial arts? Everybody on the boxing side of the world is, is writing him off and saying he doesn't even have a chance. He wouldn't land a punch on a pro boxer. Then he lands multiple punches on a pro boxer in Pauli Malinagy and people are moving the goalposts and saying, oh, well, no, well, he's, be he's been retired years, but not realizing that he fought in March. You know, it seems like right. boxing doesn't want Conor to win here no matter what. Well, then when he starts, you know, when he, when he, when he, when he uh, beats him for 12 rounds, former WBC and IBF, you know, world champion, well, he's not Floyd and he's not what he was and all this other stuff. Um, the, here, here's the reality. Boxing has tried to snub the sport for a very long time, meaning MMA. And uh, the people who, who, who think that this is going to be this one-sided uh, whatever with Floyd Mayweather, don't know Conor McGregor yet. The beautiful thing about this thing is it's the biggest combat sport ever in the history of combat sports. Now you're going to meet Conor McGregor, motherfuckers. <laughs> Excellent. And another thing that I meant to ask you, Dana, when you came in earlier on, you had to run back out. Someone had to run back out to get a picture. There's a, we'll show the footage in this interview, but this is an amazing piece of artwork. Can you tell us where it came from? Yeah, so all the people have been lining up all around the building waiting to get a glimpse of Conor, and this guy was trying to get in. He painted a picture of Conor, and uh, one of the security guys showed me a picture of it, and I go, that is incredible. I love it. So... I asked him to come here tonight, and he was willing to give it up for free, but I paid him for it. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a great picture. We're going to hang it up here in the, in the uh, Conor McGregor boardroom. And, uh, and I I've heard it. about it. I haven't let me seen it yet, but I've heard great things about it. I hear it's wonderful. It's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Dana, thank you very much. We'll see you August 26th. Pleasure.